This video is about a very exclusive club. Do you want to be a part of it? Here's what you need to do. First, you need to be a Major League Baseball player. Your odds of that are really, really small. There have only been around 22,600 Major League Baseball players in the entire history of the league. Next thing you need to do is hit a home run. You've probably seen them in droves. Some say they're ruining the game, but who doesn't click on the Every Bryce Harper homer in 2021 or the Most Clutch Homers Ever compilation videos? I certainly do. Of the almost 22,600 Major Leaguers in history, 8,203 have hit a home run. But as exclusive as the I hit a home run in the big league club is, this is not the club I want to talk about. We need to get even more narrow. To do that, let's choose a year. I'm choosing 2021 because it's easier that way, but you can choose any year for that matter. This is a chart of every single major leaguer who appeared in the hitter's box score in 2021. There were 1,509 of them, although many didn't get a plate appearance, which I'll explain later. At least for a minute, however, they had the potential of taking one out of the yard. There were players like Salvador Perez and Shohei Otani who hit a lot of home runs, nearly combining for 100. There were other players like Jake Fraley, who only hit 9 but still provided a lot of value to his team by walking a lot. There were even players who got a lot of plate appearances but didn't hit any, like Tyler Wade. But we're not here to talk about the every player to hit a home run club. We're not here to talk about the very large zero home run club. They are too big for my liking. We're here to talk about the players in the one home run club, who, for obvious reasons, are members of the club because they hit one home run in 2021 and only one. They're the players who didn't hit enough to have their own homer reel because you can't have a highlight reel of one. This is a divisive club. You, sitting on your bed, watching this, would die to be a part of the club. I would've. I didn't make my high school baseball team. But for some of these members, this is kind of a mark of shame, which I'll explain later. There were 67 of these players last season. Some of these players make you wonder why they're a part of the club at all. Franchi Cordero's solo blast was the second longest homer by a Red Sox in the StatCast era. It had an exit velocity of 118 miles off the bat and went 474 feet. How could someone hit a ball this far and not sneak one over in his other 136 plate appearances? That's all Richie Martin needed to do, and Cordero's own ballpark no less. He only needed 320 feet with just enough on it to sneak it over the fence. Austin Allen had far fewer plate appearances than Cordero or Martin to join the club, getting only 8 all season. But he did it, hitting this mid-made dinger. This wasn't Allen's first time in the show. He spent the previous two seasons fighting for a spot, and he'll go into 2022 doing the same. While I'm sure the 27-year-old would have preferred to have more chances in the big leagues in 2021, he had 30 seconds in May where he felt like everything he had been fighting for might finally be coming together. Others, like Eric Sogard, aren't fighting to make the big leagues. They already made it, a decade ago. Eight years ago, they were almost named the face of MLB, but now they're simply fighting to stay in it. And in 2021, Sogard fought. He lasted 180 plate appearances until the Cubs eventually released him in July. It's too early to tell if this will be the last of Sogard's bombs, but he had one, and that's more than 962 people who took the field can say. Sure, most of these are pitchers, but pitchers had home runs too. Of course, most pitchers are representatives of the much lamer Zero Home Run Club. They're the reason the list of potential players who could have hit a home run is so long, but it's also a little unfair to award them with such an unappealing distinction. Why? Let's look at Braves reliever Luke Jackson for the answer. Jackson is the longest tenured Braves pitcher, having pitched for the team since 2017. Since joining the squad, he's appeared in 238 games and pitched 254 innings. And yet, he's only appeared at the plate six times, and none since 2018. Despite probably not even touching a bat in the previous three years, Jackson is one of the numerous members of this Zero Home Run Club. Why? Because until 2022, if a reliever came into the game, even if there was zero intention on letting him hit, he would appear in the hitter's box score. Thankfully, with the implementation of the Universal DH, this won't happen again. In 2021, 13 hurlers hit bombs. One of these was Shohei Otani, who hit way more than one, and two of them were Adrian Hauser and Hoskar. Noah, who both hit two. This left 10 pitchers eligible to join the exclusive one homer club. Some players like Tyler Anderson and Herman Marquez were no strangers to rounding the bases. But for the rest of them, this was new territory. Kyle Gibson spent nearly a decade in the majors watching others round the bases without much of an opportunity to do the same. He's pitched all but 12 games in the American League, but with one of the 28 plate appearances he got in Philadelphia, he was just able to sneak one over the fence. Umberto Castellanos didn't have to wait as long. He only had to pitch 14 games before parking one over the fence. And then of course there's reliever Daniel Camarena to deep right field! Camarena plays it San Diego! Camarena was only in his second major league game when he hit one of the most epic grand slams of all time. But Camarena wasn't some young rookie, he was already 28. 
He had spent seven years with the Yankees organization, and he had even been called up to the big league club in 2019, only to be sent down before playing a game. And then he was released. He never got the second chance with the Yankees. In 2020, he signed with his hometown Padres, only to watch the entire minor league season decimated by COVID. When he finally made it in June of 2021, he was shelled in his first outing. But after this bomb, he was the hometown king, and no one could take that away from him. Castellanos, Ryan Weathers, and Camarena were the rookie pitcher members of the One Home Run Club, but they were far from the only rookies. Including these three pitchers, there were 31 rookies who hit one homer and only one homer. Some of these were true rookies, guys who had never appeared in a big league game before 2021. Some might have bright futures ahead of them. O'Neill Cruz, the 6'7 pirate shortstop who continues to defy the odds by still playing shortstop at this height, is one such member. Cruz is a legitimate prospect. He's only 23, and he was able to sneak his way onto the One Homer Club despite not playing until the second to last game of the season. Taylor Walls is another guy who might have a nice future in the bigs. He's not going to be a star. He might not even be a starter, but he can work it with his glove. And his bat was just good enough to sneak one over the fence and join the club. Luke Williams was another true rookie. His future in the majors is yet to be determined, but the Phillies were fine sending him out for 108 plate appearances. He struggled as a major league hitter, but his ticket to the exclusive club was one of the most exciting homers of the 67. A walk-off two-run homer against the eventual World Series champs. Other rookies had seen the field before. Their singular big fly in 2021 might not even be their first major league bomb. They are rookies because their service time says so, not because it's their first time in the majors. Wyatt Matheson had pushed two over the fence in 2020, and despite having nearly double the amount of plate appearances the next year, he was only able to muster half the amount in the following season. Raphael Marchand hit one home run in 2020 in nine plate appearances. He hit 1-21 in 21 with his 56 plate appearances, but the surprising thing was not that Marchand had over 6 times the amount of plate appearances in 2021 and only mustered the same amount of homers, it's that he's never hit a home run in the minor leagues before. In the over 1100 plate appearances across 5 years in the minor leagues, Marchand has never hit a home run, but he's hit 2 in the majors. It's a shame Sky Bolt's in this club, if only because of all the missed pun opportunities announcers could have had with his name. It was his first blast, it's still his only blast. Hopefully we'll get some more in 2022. Some of these rookies will hit hundreds of homers over the next decade. Some of these rookies might have hit their final homer. A few veterans certainly have. While the universal DH is on its way, the uncertainty of baseball means that however unlikely one of these pitchers hitting a home run is, it's not impossible. A sudden mid-game substitution that puts the DH on the field could immediately put the pitcher to the plate again. But there is one pitcher who is as close to certain to never hit another home run in his career, and his name is John Lester. Because, bearing a change of heart, John Lester is stepping off the field as a player for good. Hitting homers at one point in Lester's career seemed like an impossibility. He infamously started his career 0 for 66, and he didn't get his first hit in the big leagues until his 10th season. But 2021 wasn't his first homer, or even his second, or his third. With more consistent at-bats pitching in the National League exclusively from 2016 onward, he hit one every year he got an at-bat from 2017 until the end. For Lester, hitting a homer in his final season was just icing on the cake, but for two other players, not being able to park one over the fence was a major contributor to them hanging up the spikes. Alex Avila hit 105 homers in his career. The catcher was never a power hitter, but he did put up as many as 19 in 2011. 2021, however, was his second year in the One Homer Club, but perhaps the 34-year-old thought the humiliation of being a back-to-backer in the club was too much for him to take. Or maybe the wear and tear of the backstop position had taken its toll. Who's to say? If Avila had wanted to, he probably could have found another job in the majors in 2022. Power has never been his claim to fame, and he was still half-decent defensively at the most valuable defensive position on the field. The same couldn't be said for Jay Bruce. He was a corner outfielder who suddenly found himself at first base for the Yanks. He had made his whole career out of hitting dingers, hitting his career high just four years earlier. 2019 was a telltale sign that things were going to go downhill. He still had 26 bombs, but his walk rate plummeted, and 2020 was even worse. In 2021, he gave it another go. Probably probably knew he didn't have much longer. His last bomb was a skyscraper, falling as suddenly as he decided to call it quits. He's at the wall! See ya! Home run Bruce! That's why they got him! The One Homer Club is unlike any other club in baseball. There are no elite hitters here. There are either will-bees, might-bees, wannabes, or have-beens. There's a former Olympic speed skater, a pair of brothers who finally found a way to play together at the tail end of their careers. This is the ace of clubs. Is it more valuable? Not necessarily. Probably not, actually. In fact, sometimes it costs you more to keep it than it does to get rid of it. So many of these players were discarded at some point in the season. 
Sogard, Bolt, Nagowski, Davis, Leiba, Blakenhorn. Are they more versatile? Sometimes, but versatility isn't always better. This club is a lot of things. Players at the beginning of their runs, and players at the end. There are players who are hoping that luck bounces back their way, and a lot of players who will never see that luck. Every year, this club will have different members, but their stories will all be similar. They are will-bees, wannabes, or have-beens. It's a weird club, but I love it.